I'm Judith Newman, the chair of the Sunday Worship Council and your worship associate for today. Here are our announcements. First, as you probably noticed, our new interim minister, Gary, Reverend Gary Kowalski, has arrived. Nurturing atmosphere, the sense of friendliness and community here. He and Betty, I know, would have liked to have been here for the full two years, but that did not happen, and so I'm grateful for this privilege and honor and also the challenge of being your minister, because Jim did say you could be challenging at times. <laughs> I grew up next door in Oklahoma, but I really don't know too much about Santa Fe. I'm trying to educate myself. I'm reading books about the native people, the Hispanic heritage. I'm even trying to teach myself a little Spanish, but hablo espanol como un vaco enfermo. <laughs> I speak Spanish like a sick cow. <laughs> but being so new here does give me the advantage of what Buddhists call beginner's mind. I don't have a lot of assumptions about who you are, what your customs or traditions might be, and that gives us all a little window of opportunity as we get to know each other. I'll be interested in not just learning your, your names and your biographies, and it does help if you wear a name tag, <laughs> but I'll also be curious to learn why you believe what you believe, why you behave the way you do in this congregation. And if the answer to the question is, why do you do things that way, is, well, we've always done it like that, then maybe that's a time for a little reflection, self-examination, maybe even an opportunity to do something different. Because if there's one message that I'd like to bring this year, it's that change can be a positive thing. And whether it's positive or not, it is inevitable. Dory and I just got here on Monday. I've unpacked my bags, but I'll be packing them to leave in, in a few months. Interim ministers like to say that they're pre-fired, so this is a very <laughs> short time we have together. And I know that many of you are here this morning checking out the new preacher. Is he good or does he stink? But, you know, good or, good or bad, you can relax. It's all going to be over soon. <laughs> because nothing lasts. This is one of the teachings of the Buddha, which I want to talk about this morning. Life is change. Maybe many of you are familiar with the Buddha's philosophy, but maybe not all of you and maybe not the children. The Buddha taught that everything's in motion. Sun goes up, the rain falls, we laugh, we cry, we fall in and out of love, the seasons go round and round, and all of this is wonderful. But we get ourselves into trouble when we try to stop that motion and hold on to things. And then we make ourselves irritable and upset. It's like if you've had such a great day that you don't want it to end and you don't want bedtime to come and you don't get into your jammies, well, you get all tired and cranky or maybe you're so anxious for summer vacation or Christmas or whatever great thing is happening tomorrow that we forget to enjoy our juice this morning. And then our minds become all cloudy as we get frustrated. It's like a jar of water. There's a jar of water, and when I shake it up, what happens? Becomes dark, becomes murky. Sometimes I get all stirred up just like this glass of water. I get agitated. And when we get agitated and stirred up, the Buddha said, what we need to do then is just calm down, sit still, breathe in and out, come back into this present moment, 
And we'll soon find that our minds, our consciousness, begin to clear themselves like this little glass of water did just by sitting still. It's pure, it's transparent, and you can see through it again. You can see the world as it is, not as we want it to be, but in all its light and shadow and complexity. So this morning, I would like to teach you all a technique for letting our minds settle down. This is from Thich Nhat Hanh, the Zen master. It's a meditation I use often. It's a breath meditation. As I breathe in, I calm. As I breathe out, I smile. Breathing in, I'm in the present moment. Breathing out, this is a wonderful moment. Breathe in, calm. Breathe out, smile. Breathe in, present moment. Breathe out, wonderful moment. 